NC State at 18 and 14. Syracuse 20 and 11. And still has hopes of an NCAA bid. For the Orange, it is off the charts good. Judah Mintz right in the thick of that. His first pass can't be finished up, but it will be eventually on the dunk by Brown. Winner will take on the number two seed Duke at seven tomorrow. Mintz with a pull up pop and he'll drain that. Judah Mintz named to the second team all ACC. I mean, forgive me, not an automatic bid, but an at large bid. Mintz on the attack, right up against a wall of red and drops it in. Judah Mintz attacking the basket. Which he does so often, seventh. He will drive it. Syracuse collapsing on him. He can't connect. Diara with a dribble down. Double fake, and it's blocked from behind. Brown got a hand on it. Burns gets the return. Working on Brown. It should be an entertaining duel as he hits that one. And DJ Burns has that ability. He's, had, he's getting a chance to play one-on-one. -on -one. Not to mention his former head coach. Great to see Jim Beheim here working the tournament with you yesterday, Burns, and backs it in. It's almost like a spy on a quarterback. You don't double team until you see DJ Burns spin. Taylor couldn't hit the shot. Amazing he got that pass free. The long jumper will be nothing but net by O'Connell. And O'Connell was super aggressive yesterday. 16 points for him with the absence of Horn. And it was history. And it was history with Jim Valvano running across the floor looking for someone to hug. Great visual there. Copeland launches and swishes it in. To start the half. Yeah, Angel, and one of the things, of course, to get an assist, you've got to make the shot. And the problem with that is North Carolina State 4 of 14 from the field, only 1 for 7 from beyond the arc. A beautiful find from D.J. Burns, and this time... Let's see if Horn gets involved offensively. Burns with a touch. What a tough angle, but he makes a lot of those shots. I'll tell you what, he's had a huge impact to start this game. Post player to be able to play through, but he's so unselfish that you have to pick your poison. Do you double team or do you just allow him to just beat you up one on one? A creative passer, too. Mintz lost it, gets it, and he'll go to the line. We talked about Judah Mintz's ability to be able to get to the free throw line. This time he'll only get one opportunity because he has the contact most likely with the two fouls. He won't play the remainder of this first. Have to find a way to keep heat on that hip flexor. O'Connell from the elbow can't hit it. Syracuse in transition. Oh, oh, pass. Brown with the slam. When you leave, as we watch Judah Mintz getting out in transition, you see the point guard eyes as he drops the dime to Malik Brown, who drops the hammer. No foul on that one. Here comes Jaden Taylor on the opposite end of the floor, trying to go end to end. 29% beyond the three point line. Burns. Trying to get a better spot, and he once again gets great bounce. He'll give it to O'Connell for a triple. Got it. Michael O'Connell on target, and NC State. Shot clock down to seven. Starling from the elbow, got it. And that's been the difference, in my opinion, OB, in the Syracuse team. Burns at the line. Get a little bit closer, a little far away. A oh, big rebound by DR. Got it to O'Connell on the low block for two. O'Connell on the dribble. Taylor trying that baseline. Oh tough sledding on an eighth, but he made the shot. That was a brutally tough shot. And turnovers were such a big part of that. It absolutely was. On the drive. And it's scooped up and in by J.J. Starling. Mentioned he had 26 against NC State, one of the wins at 22 against Miami, 23 against North Carolina. Syracuse buckling down defensively. Nine points, two assists already, more importantly, zero turnovers. Mintz left alone to fire it up there, and that's not a good idea. With no defense. Sophomore from Fort Washington, Maryland. Good first half at 11. Middlebrooks will hand it off for Taylor. Taylor trying to shred the D, going in strong. Three minutes, made a ton of foul shots. Yeah, they absolutely did. And it was this young man, Casey Morsell, who made 13 for 13. And this time he goes to the tough bucket. The turnaround over great defense by Claudia Copeland. Half. And you see some great battles. Casey Morsell, Claudia Copeland going at it. Morsell winning this battle. Now Starling. 
Starling with a pull up pop and drains that one to triple. As we are underway here in the second half, NC State with the ball. Syracuse starting in the zone defensively, OB, to start this second half. Over the top, miss. Oh, what a pretty catch and bucket. And again, the winner to take on the two seed, the Duke Blue Devils. We've got the double bye to get into the quarterfinals. Bell on target. Now he was in foul trouble. Sent a huge chunk of the first half. In the first half of this one, did not start for the Wolfpack. Mintz with a pull up, drains it. So he's just getting to a spot, though, but he's so athletic. He's hit a bunch of shots just like that. Horn with a pull up at the elbow, and that'll go. Good sign for the Wolfpack to see him. Morcell. Great interior passing, and Burns will knock it down. Great recognition by DR. Now Burns on a high post. Trying to spin. And a lot of iron, but it won't drop. He wins it back. Somehow, a second effort, and switched in by Taylor. Find the three, and that three that Taylor knocks down sends the Wolf back on a 9-0 run. Wake Forest with a huge win today as far as their chances for the NCAA tournament. And a necessary win to set up what will be an absolute battle tomorrow. Their way through that zone. DJ Horn trying to get free. Airborne knocks it down. We haven't heard much from him. You are the state. You are the governor. <laughs> or, or will be someday. I have no doubt. You'll get out the vote. Starling. And black from behind by Taylor. Horn will launch way down top, but too strong. But another uh, sense of rebound, OB. That's been the difference now. 17. DJ Horn looking for room to operate. It's partially blocked. Burns comes away with it, though. He'll get a chance at it. Now he switched in by Taylor. Burns, James Taylor, knocks down the three ball. Look at this run, 16 to 2 over the last six minutes. And another theft. Horn to Taylor, back to Horn, and he'll land in. On a big time fast break. Tony Henderson may have walked away. I mean, he understands the frustration. I mean, officials miss calls. It happens. Horn with the theft. Horn will dunk it. A giant swing here in the last three or four minutes. I'm going to say the hip flexor feels pretty good for DJ Horn right now. <laughs> Entry pass inside for Brown and two. So many 5 nothing run here. DJ Horn, yeah, showing the bounce. That snapped a 12 nothing run. Here's Taylor to swoop in, and now the Pack making all kinds of shots for all season long. Nice little run here for the Wolf. They need a long run. Copeland off to Bell. Bell will switch in the triple. Around and out, one and done. Another great look and great find from DJ Burke. Copeland, long strides in there for a basket. And he was prepared. I give him credit for that. <laughs> Bell straight on. Six it, a two-pointer. Have really been inspired since the technical foul from Judah Mitch, even though Mitch is on the bench. Claudia Copeland has come in and taken over. We're still shut down in the paint. O'Connell got a good look. He's a DJ Horn did not score in the first half. He has 11 in the second half. That hip's feeling better. Another shot from him. And knocks back at three. Inbound Middlebrooks. And will slam it down. Emphatically back to 18 here for NC State. But that can't happen. First personal. And there's really nothing complicated. It's a simple, you just switch. Stay on the inside. Quadia Cope. Interior passing inside from Malik Brown. But of course, Syracuse cannot afford to be trading baskets here with the Wolfpack. Coming up tonight after this game, Boston College and Clemson, number 11 and number 6. Here's Marcel on the other end, and slam it. Post, by the way, pretty much personally ended the season of Miami Hurricanes with that performance. Copeland. 
Looked like he got bottled up and he made the shot anyway. He absolutely did. Picked up those two fouls early in the first half. Checked out. Bell will launch and hit it. Such a good shooter. Mance off for Copeland. His turnaround. That'll go. We've seen crazier things happen. Now it's going to be up to the Wolfpack to handle the basketball and be able to make their free throws, which they did so well last night. But Breaking the press again. Uh-oh, you ain't going to dunk it, DJ. Burns. No, he's not. He's gonna... <laughs> Very gently off the window. Muhammad Diar had a whole lot to do with that. I'll tell you another guy who needs to get some love is Jaden Taylor. 18 points in this game. 6 out of 12, 3 out of 7 from the three-point land. To O'Connell. Billbrook's running the floor. Crowd thought he walked with that. Out in front, it's Mintz and Mintz with the finish. Our stats man, Dave Corris, was there with Sean McDonough, Jay Billis, Bill Raftery. Pass in the game, tried to get the shot up, blocked back at him, and that's a shot clock violation. No question, it was McDonough. Okay, I was just checking. That yeah. would have been my guess. Pass, <laughs> and I think got it, actually. Mintz in the paint, floats it up there for two. This victory, and the Wolfpack wins again. I don't know, is it going to be a magic carpet ride for the Wolfpack here in Washington?